hello guys welcome to my channel in this tutorial i am going to show you what you should do when you get http error 503 error message on your website so let me show you uh, the error message when i visit my website so my website name is www.madblue.com so i got the error message service unavailable and the error message 503 and it is showing the error message in this format so what you should actually do was get into your uh, IAS where you have hosted your website. So it is Internet Information Service, which is a product of Microsoft. So now, once I get into the application and let me go to sites and show you the default thing. And MadBlue is the uh, website which I have hosted and you can see the basic settings over here and where is the file actually. So now, uh, for the error message that we received what you should do was go to madblue right click manage website and select the advanced settings now you should uh, now you should see what is the application pool here the application pool is uh, madblue so now go to application pool and go for the uh, madblue which where we have hosted our site by default uh, you will have the uh, app pool and here is where I have hosted my website. And if you could see the task of this uh, state is this uh, in stopped state. And that is why you are receiving the error message 503. So just go ahead and click on start and just wait for uh, 10 seconds and then come back to your site and then reload it. Okay. Now uh, we are able to open our website. And this is how uh, you will uh, make changes when you get the uh, error message for 503. Hope you liked my video. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.